guys, welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today we are doing my August book haul. So I've falled up my shelves for you guys, just, just so you know, I did like a kind of red and orange and yellow theme, so that's why things look different. I'm going to start doing this like probably every month, like changing up the color scheme. So I have about 26 books to share with you. I am pretty much for sure not doing an August book haul part two because I've been doing a lot better with my <laughs> book buying and sticking to my budget and all those things. But for those of you that are sad about not having a second book haul, I will be doing another YA swap and trade book haul because I have about 15 books that I have swapped and traded out to share as well. That will be up like in a week or two, so keep an eye out for that. So without further ado, I'm just going to get right into these books. Some of you may have seen me like haul a few of these from my booktubeathon vlogs, but I thought I'd share them here as well. So I got I Am Number 4 by Pitticus Lore. Also a movie that I want to watch with my husband and I've heard like so many mixed reviews about this but I just gotta know. I gotta know for myself. So I'm at least gonna read um, book one so I am rehauling this book. Picked up Pirate Latitudes by Michael Crichton. I don't know his exact pronouncement but this is the author of Jurassic Park and Jurassic World which I have not read yet but I want to and I've just heard great things about his writing style and this is one that I think me and my husband might read together. I got another Vampirates book by Justin Somper. This is Vampirates, Demons of the Ocean. I just started collecting these for some reason. Um, I think it's because I'm in like a really pirate midi mood and also because I'm going to read some vampire books this fall. So there you go. Now this is Stray by Alyssa Sussman. I have been looking for this one. I was really excited to find it. It's so cool. This might be a fairy tale retelling, but either way, it's like a princess and she has magical powers and she's dangerous and she might ruin the kingdom on accident. And I don't know, it sounds awesome. It sounds kind of Three Dark Crowns-ish, crowns -ish, like very minimally, but I just, it looks great. This one might be the second in a series, but I'm not sure. Then I recently discovered that Dollar Tree sells books and like pretty decent books. Like a lot of them are like what you would think you would see at a Dollar Tree, but they're like new paperback and hardback books. I think it's just stuff that they get overstock in. Um, there are a lot of like Disney and Marvel and things like that. They get like printed, like mass printed. Um, but I found some really great books. So you guys should definitely check out your local Dollar Tree and all of mine had different things. Like I went to five and I got something almost at all of them. So that was really exciting. So I'll show you what I got here. So I got this copy of Fang Girl by Ellen Keeble. This one has been on my TBR um, since last year. It's supposed to be like a super silly, like I think satire vampire book about like a girl that's like a vampire, a fan girl that turns into a vampire and then like her parents think it's cool or her brother wants her to turn her into one. I don't know. It's, it looked really funny. It had a funny synopsis on Goodreads. I'm kind of back and forth on these types of books, but it was a dollar. It was brand new and I got it. I got The Queen of Zombie Hearts by Jenna Showalter, which is one I've been looking for. Uh, this one is the third book in the White Rabbit Chronicles, which are Alice in Wonderland retellings. I, I think they're pretty loose retellings from what I've heard, but they're such beautiful freaking books. They're so pretty and I was really pumped to find this one. I have books two and three now in the series. I found the Zodiac List Legacy Convergence by Sam Lee, Stuart Moore, and Angie Tong. This is a Disney Hyperion book, I believe, or Disney Press book. First one in the series. It's kind of got some graphic novel-y superhero vibes, and I've been really into superheroes lately, and it's just such a nice copy. And then I picked up A Frozen Heart by Elizabeth Rudnick. Rudnick? I don't know. It's just like a book form about the romance in Frozen. So, yeah. Picked up Black Widow Red Vengeance by Margaret Stoll. This one is a Marvel book. I don't know anything about Black Widow, but I do know I like Margaret Stoll's writing style from the Beautiful Creature series. And it's such a pretty, like, soft feeling, beautiful book. And it's got all of these cool, like, fun superhero y things in them. So I got it. Then I picked up Star Wars. A New Hope, The Princess, The Scoundrel, and The Farm Boy by Alexandra Bracken. Um, this is just, I don't know, it's part of a Star Wars series of books. I've been wanting to read it for a little bit because it is um, Alexandra Bracken. It has awesome in papers and the underneath of the book. It's just so pretty. 
And the last book I picked up at Dollar Tree was Blood Rose Rebellion, Rosalind Evs, which has been also on my TBR. It's about a magic system, I think set in like London, and the daughter of these certain magicians doesn't have powers, and then she finds them, something magical and whimsical and wonderful. I couldn't believe that I found it. So I found all of these Dollar Tree books for a dollar at Dollar Tree in brand new condition. I couldn't believe I found this one. I was less surprised about the Disney books than I was this one. Check your local Dollar Tree. Okay, then I found Fairest of Them All by Carolyn Turgeon. This is a retelling of Rapunzel. Carolyn Turgeon wrote Mermaid, which was a retelling of Little Mermaid that I read this summer for Mermaid Marathon that I loved. I think you can only get most of her books in paperback, so that's why I went ahead and got this one. I really love her writing style and I love retellings. Next up, The Keys to the Kingdom by Garth Nix, Drowned Wednesday. This is book one. I don't know anything about it other than that it's Garth Nix and it has some kind of flying pirate ship on the front and also a whale and a kid in a bed in the water and that was enough. Picked up The Awakening by Kelly Armstrong. This is a used to be really popular like back in the day. Um, I never read anything by Kelly Armstrong but she's kind of well beloved but less talked about now so I thought I would try that guy. Picked up a somewhat not as nice copy of Torment by Lauren Kate. I have uh, Passion and Fallen and I don't have the fourth one, but this is one I'm kind of wanting to give a reread because I really don't know how I feel about it, but I still like kind of want to reread it. So I got this. Okay, last stack are the ones that I am like the most excited about and like shocked to find. So I found A Clash of Kings by George R.R. R. Martin. This is book two in the Song of Ice and Fire saga slash Game of Thrones and A Storm and Sword. This is book three. I'm really sad because I already had this book and I didn't realize it because the cover was different but this one is a much nicer copy because I like these big floppy paperbacks for these huge types of books. For the hardbacks, it's just too hard to read. It doesn't technically go with the rest of the books that I have, but oh well, bookish dilemmas. Then I found, and you might have seen this on my vlog, uh, Entice, Captivate, and Endure, all by Carrie Jones. These are from the Need series. It's like Faye. Faye series that I hope to read like sometime this fall. Found a beautiful copy of the one by Kira Cass, so now I'm only missing the selection. I have already read these and I love them. I found Vast in the Night by Sarah Porter and I paid like four dollars for this one which is like not typical for me but I love Sarah Porter's Lost Voices trilogy. It's my favorite mermaid series slash mermaid book. I like her writing style. She's kind of dark and intense. It's an urban fantasy set in like Russian folklore and I haven't heard anybody talk about it but I feel like I'm going to love it and it's going to be very unique. Then I have a signed first edition of Never Night by Jay Kristoff. Again, I paid a little bit more for this guy, but like not bad at all. I've heard awesome things about this one and this one and that it's like creepy and scary and probably good for Halloween, but it's about like assassins and like creepy, scary demons and like all kinds of stuff like that. So yeah. And lastly, I found Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I am so pumped because now I have Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, Crooked Kingdom, and The Language of Thorns. So I'm only missing two books from her Grisha trilogy and I just feel like I'm gonna love it like everybody else is loving it. I'm gonna read this by, before the end of the year. I'm so so pumped because it's been really hard for me to find Lee Bardugo books. I had to trade for all the other ones that I found. So yay! Okay you guys those are all of the books that I purchased and found in August other than my books that I traded that I will put a video up of soon. If you guys have read any of these, love them, let me know. I think I've only read like a couple of the ones that I actually purchased. Let me know if you guys found any fun finds in August and don't forget to check out your local Dollar Tree because that was super awesome to find out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time on the bright side. Bye!